Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayers for Friday, December 4th. prepare ourselves for prayer this morning. Wait for God. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for God. And that's from Psalm 27, verse 14. Let's be still and aware of God's presence within and all around. Early in the morning, I seek your presence, O God, not because you are ever absent from me, but because often I am absent from you at the heart of each moment where you dwell forever. In the rising of the sun, in the unfolding color and shape of the morning, open my eyes to the mystery of this moment that in every moment of the day, I may know your life giving presence. Open my eyes to this moment that in every moment I may know you as the one who is always now. Amen. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Rick. And I'll be reading Psalm 67 this morning. For the lead player on stringed instruments, a psalm, a song. May God grant us grace and bless us. May his, he shine his face upon us. To know on the earth your way, among all the nations your rescue. Nations acclaim you, O God, all peoples acclaim you. Nations rejoice in glad song, for you rule peoples rightly, and nations on earth you lead. Nations acclaim you, O God, all peoples acclaim you. The earth gives its yield. May God, our God, bless us. May God bless us, and all the ends of the earth fear him. Amen. Psalm 67, and I chose a Mary Oliver poem for today. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, Luetta. And it's called The Loon. Not quite 4 a.m. when the rapture of being alive strikes me from sleep and I rise from the comfortable bed and go to another room where my books are lined up in their neat and colorful rows. How magical they are. I choose one and open it. Soon I have wandered in over the waves of words to the temple of thought. And then I hear outside over the actual waves, the small, perfect voice of the loon. He is also awake and with his heavy head uplifted, he calls out to the fading moon, to the pink flush swelling in the east soon will become the long, reasonable day. Inside the house, it is still dark, except for the pool of lamplight in which I am sitting. I do not close the book. Neither, for a long while, 
Do I Read On? The Loom by Mary Oliver. Good morning, Pam. So let's reflect on our psalm and our poem and on these words. Seek God's presence continually. From Psalm 105, verse 4. I am the first and I am the last. Do not fear, for I am with you. Isaiah 44, verses 6 and 8. At the beginning of time and at the end, you are God, and I bless you. At my birth and in my dying, in the opening of the day and at its close, in my waking and my sleeping, you are God and I bless you. You are the first and the last, the giver of every gift, the presence without whom there would be no present, the life without whom there is no life. Lead me to the heart of life's treasure that I may be a bearer of the gift. Lead me to the heart of the present, that I may be a sharer of your eternal presence. Let's pray for the coming day and for the life of the world. In the many details of this day, let me be fully alive in the handling of food, the sharing of drink, the preparing of work, the uttering of words, in the meeting of friends over Zoom, and the interminglings of relationship. Let me be alive to each instant, O oh God, let me be fully alive. Amen. Maybe those meetings with friends are over the phone or through the mail or email or text or physically distanced and masked. Please be safe, folks. Good morning, Catherine. I am enjoying the sunshine and I'm squinting a little bit this morning. But I'm not complaining. Not complaining. So hear now this blessing from John O'Donohue. It's called For Belonging. May you listen to your longing to be free. May the frames of your belonging be generous enough for your dreams. May you arise each day with a voice of blessing whispering in your heart. May you find a harmony between your soul and your life. May the sanctuary of your soul never become haunted. May you know the eternal longing that lives in the heart of time. May there be kindness in your gaze when you look within. May you never place walls between the light and yourself. May you allow the wild beauty of the invisible world to gather you, mind you, and embrace you in belonging. Have a lovely day. Catherine says it's shining out there. May you too shine. Have a blessed weekend and I'll see you on Monday.